this is a this is an interesting pivot, but you bring, you bring up a fascinating point. But it's the tone. It's the tone that 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 Dave had last night on SNL. For anybody that didn't watch it, it's Saturday Night Live, uh, hosted by Dave Chappelle, musical guest Foo Fighters. Um, Dave's Dave's uh, Dave's monologue, his opening. I thought, I thought was fascinating, and what he it felt like he was playing with um, emotions, like the like emotional agility. I felt like that was a, a focus of his, right? Sort of low, lower you in with the laughs, and then turn up on your ass when you're most vulnerable. So you you don't you don't have nothing. You ain't no way to escape it. You've been laughing at it this whole time, and now you in it. Now you got it. Now you got to sit with that shit. I thought it was brilliant. Excellent. Also, so so big sticks and stones energy, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but it, the way the way he invited he he was inviting the white liberals in on the in on the joke, and then immediately taking the the comfort away. I thought it was br- I thought it was brilliant execution. Um, that was that was just my observation. I could I could be way off, but that was how I feel. Lex, did you watch it? Yeah. What did you, you think? Exactly what you said. He uh, he's a master at it, especially when he said the thing about oh that's why women get paid. <laughs> <laughs> that's why women get paid fifty percent less. And you could have heard you could have heard a pin drop in there. It's like oh I thought we came to do a comedy show. <laughs> like, but how he brought everybody in, and then was like, "Oh, you guys are comfortable." Wow, let me hit you with this, and then everybody, everybody getting it to the point you could tell he looked off stage at all the people who are off stage behind camera in their faces too, and it made him laugh harder. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, y'all offended for real?" Okay, here we go. I was about to say that brings in the the craziest thing, and probably a, a one of my things that I don't care for. Uh, I didn't put it on the list on this one, but that, this this one just hit it on the head. It's people that go to comedy shows or know that there's a comedian going to be in Boston somewhere, but they don't laugh. Yeah. Like, why are you? Why are you so? Why are you coming this motherfucker with a with a stone face, knowing that you're supposed to be hearing people tell jokes at you? Like, where? How did like? What did that dynamic come in at? They, and that that would that's what I, I I imagine that's what Dave was getting in the room because he was fully like oh y'all y'all can't be serious all right but you uncomfortable let's let's really take it there then yeah like the people that be like oh no or like when Dave tells that story about the uh, the lady that was trying that uh, that interrupted the show and then people tried to get her up out of there and then he told her to stay and then he schooled her on on the issue at hand and then she changed her mind at the end. Mm-hmm. Like that's the, that that's the people that I don't really understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like how you get so angry at a comedy show? I don't, I don't know, but go ahead. But the world seems to be full of those where it's like, as long as you, long as the joke ain't about me or as, lo- or as long as, as long as if it's not re- rooted in like this false idea of martyrdom, it's like, bro, like there, there, there are ways to unpack guilt through and through our daily existence because it's just it's just it's just a conversation about convenience if you want to be honest about it but it's a different conversation than here neither here nor there but i just i really i really enjoyed um that comedic relief at the end at the, at the end of a week where at the end of a week where to be honest i'm i'm still left more confused than i am anything uh again a win for humanity but slightly where you feel like humanity should always win by a landslide and it isn't and it hasn't and wanting to pander to people's humanity in hopes that they'll be able to see and it, it just it's just not how it's just not how this fucking thing has been built um, because if it had been we'd be having a whole different sc- discussion around economics and education and medicine and all that but but yet and still capitalism is winning through and through and, and we've shown that that is the kryptonite to humanity it's just like yo where the money at 